So I really do feel like that people are, are more okay with Bristleback losing farm early and making up for it later. We're going to see a contest for the top bounty rune though. This should be pretty interesting. Bottom bounty rune looks to be going to the centaur, but stuns coming out onto how Will they get the Lystrike Ray? Yes, they connect with the Lystrike Ray. So although there's an impale, how does he feed first blood? Jixing will get that as well as the bounty rune. Oh man, that's just so good. So we're going to see some contests of the jungle here. We're going to see a magic missile connect and the, the Light Striker will follow, but there's a Thunderclap. Should allow Fenrir to try to deny neutrals. It looks like his pl game plan is, but it's not going to work out. The potato does not comply. Hellbear chases down the Fiery Lena. Already working out, but we'll give both teams their fair share. Oh, super. Light Striker did connect already, so they're going to right-click him down. He's dead. Oh, that's the third kill. We will see. Gyrocopter will kill off the Vengeful Spirit here. Yeah, sure, they could still kind of try to block him off here. He is locked in. Oh, perfect block from my side. Size. Are you kidding me? The troll trap, the dragon tail, the test of faith. What a fisher completely blocking off this zone here. Oh, man, that is just the perfect way to do it. They, they get them stuck, stuck, they get them locked in, and it looks like Demons is the only one that could even possibly get out. They're going to try to fight it under the tower here, but here's the call down. The fisher, Jixen, goes down immediately. Half his souls. D dissipating ice 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 now pursued upon nice enchant totem damage he'll be test of faith home super right clicking way still has a lot of magic stick a lot of bottle and boom goes the dynamite lion nukes down the bristleback with a finger of death chen finishing off the lena and that is nearly a wipe in fact he crushed out the blink no midas or anything like that just wants to be involved that's all he wants and that creates space for how but there's the jump ice is going to take a lot of damage and the rays will finish him off so fy blinks out the second he realizes it's a lost cause. The face boots and Aquila now online. Ogre Club coming out on the courier. And we're going to hear a stampede down bottom. FY, he was hiding in the trees, lurking in the side shop, but they connect with some spells now. And they will make sure that he can't blink out. Stampede's a really good spell to have active on you to prevent blink daggers. You in the jungle, but. I really don't think they can go for this play. They're talking about like maybe going for a kill on Zove, like those a two man dive onto the centaur with their ultimates, but I really don't know about this. They're gonna go in, get the Fisher out, they're gonna get stunned. Oh, a nice Dragon Tail into Centaur War Runner! Ice 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 takes some damage, but the Hand of God Mech brings him back up. Venge going down fast in the call down. It's gonna strike twice onto Jixing. He'll go down, and Bristleback can barely escape. No, sir. Enchant Totem brings him down. The Fisher doesn't connect on the Lena, but nevertheless, it's teamwork, it's coordination, it's planning. Hoof stomp, double edge, moving about the fight as he will, but no, instant Dragon Tail from Super. Knew he needed to lock down the Centaur, and knew the Dragon Tail was fast enough to do that when he was in his ultimate form. Now FY gets caught out by it, so no Dragon Tail to save you this time, and that probably will force them back. Yeah, the drums of retreat in this case. But... Still a really amazing fight. I mean, Centaur Stampede going in. Zove. Oh, the Echo Slam locks him out. Nice, nice, nice. Test of Faith home. Oh, if he had just gotten the Test of Faith. That was so close to actually being a very, very cool play. But they messed it, missed the opportunity. And now it's a very staggered retreat. Along with FY's Lion. Still, I mean, engaging that position was really cool on the bottom tier too. Gave them a big lead, but now we're going to see a jump onto How Very squishy right now, and they're going to magic missile him too. A lot of damage coming in, but it's the Earth Spike to save him. He drops the call down, and he will escape. Zove going down along with the Venge, along with the Bristleback. They clean it up nicely. And this is Vici Gaming just showing book value right there. That's just insane. Ma this tiny bit of magic resistance going from 25% magic resistance to 31% that's that's enough to save your life right there we're gonna see some damage coming into demons here all oh, caught out so hard stampede cannot save you he gets locked down Fenrir taking the last hit so he'll bear the burden of the vengeance aura and uh, we're gonna see actually vision on bristleback here he's gonna try to TP away FY with the hex he is a little fishy he's going down for sure and he's had a really rough game. If you look at net worth, he's down at 4k. He's behind uh, the lion, FY's lion, by 1400 net worth. Just can't commit to the fight. He can't actually stay in range, so I think he's just going to go for like a, a build that you just survive and run. We're going to see Zove get caught out here. Another quick stun onto him. They do have the finger of death. They will get swapped out. It's still going to be the finger delivered. Oh, onto the right target. The swap out only delays the inevitable, and how pops the BKB. 
Double kill, godlike streak for Super. He's 9, 1, and 5. And he goes for the BKB into Shadowblade here. 12,000 gold, 11,000 experience. A lot of pain being brought from on the end of Eden. How taking some massive damage here. The Rays will connect. The Stamp to Sal. They do get the swap into the Light Strike Ray. How going down without his BKB. Very nice kill, but... They're going to jump in uh, with Zove. He pops the BKB. Super. Really nice BKB. But the Shadow Blade isn't enough to get him out. Quill Sprays. Sentry Wards. They want this kill so bad. Oh, the Sentry. The Dragon Slave can come. And AO should be able to kill him. Lines it up. Just narrowly connects. And that is going to be the kill onto the Dragon Knight. Oh. Sometimes uh, they're not dominants for this next stage of the game. But now we're going to see the first missile of the game. How skills it up here at level 15. A one point wonder for him. They're going to kill off the tier 3 tower. Super still in his red dragon form. But they're going to see a stop. A nice BKB from Super. Such a good reaction. Jixing though. A nice Requiem will come out. 36 souls. Put in damage in. Fenrir pops the hand of God. Pops the mechanism. Our Guardian Greaves will survive for a little bit longer. But in the end, it's got to be how. It's got to be Ice 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 with the Echo Slam. Looking for the Fisher follow through, but a nice stun from Lena allows the Bristle back to get away. And now we're looking at them just Shadow Blade again. Easy stun on Shadow Fiend. Mech or not, you're going down, my friend. Chain stunned to Oblivion. A double Earth Spike from FY. And that is going to be a lot of pain coming their way. Now, uh, just stunning and retreating. They want to just finish the Rex. They kind of want to be doing their. Just warding them off so that Howl and Ice's eyes can right-click it down with the Enchant Totem. And now that they've done that, they're feeling pretty good to finish off the range and retreat from there. A good uh, just set of structural damage on the base right now. Bottom lane takes it down. And FYO going in. We're going to see here uh, movement from Zov. Maybe finds out Super. They, don't s they do see him, actually. They do indeed see him with this Observer Ward. What a reaction from Super, though. I gotta just commend this guy's reaction time this game. Every single time he hits that Dragon Tail, that BKB perfectly. He always sees the Centaur coming, even when it's out of his vision. And he just always he makes the right play. So, in this case, it was in his vision with the Observer Ward that I talked about earlier from Fenrir on the Ancients, but... It's still just he knows how the enemy is going to react, how the enemy is going to play that out, and that is just... He, it's just this guy never seems to be caught unawares. He always knows what's up, and that is just awesome. We see the death of the Shadow Fiend here. He gets caught out in his own jungle. They had this Observer Ward placed out, and they used the Finger of Death to bring him down, but... Now we're seeing the Tier 3 Tower drop down in mid. Lena doing very little to hold on to that, and how is perfectly to perfectly fine to commit here with his Aegis the Immortal. GG gonna be coming out from Dream Gaming. So, Vici Gaming, they've been in, in complete control of this game for about the past six or seven minutes, and that's gonna be wrapping it up for game one here. A really nice showing from Dream Gaming, of course, but in the end, Vici just know exactly how to take those fights. Like, if you look at each individual engagement that they took under towers, it was